Thank you, Jehovah, Heavenly Father, for everything you do for me. Forgive me where I fall short, Lord. Guide and direct me in the way I should go. And uh, forgive me for being an idiot yesterday. In Yeshua's precious name, I pray. Amen. With me, I've just been having problems lately. My stomach. I can't believe it's already the thirty first. <clears throat> Proverbs thirty one. The words of King Lemuel, the burden that's taught him his mother. What, my son? And what, the son of my womb? And what, the son of my vows? Not do give to women your might, or your ways to that wiping out kings. It is not for kings, O Lemuel, it is not for kings to drink wine, nor for princes to lust for strong drink lest they drink and forget what is decreed and pervert the right of the sons of the afflicted. Give strong drink to one perishing and wine to the bitter of soul. Let him drink and forget his poverty and his mi misery, not to remember more. Open your mouth for the dumb, to the cause of all the sons fatherless. Open your mouth, judge righteously, and defend the poor and needy. An able-bodied woman who can find and is far above gems her value. Trust in her heart her husband's, so that of gain no lack he has. She deals to him good and not evil all the days of her life. She seeks wool and flax, and she works with delight with her palms. She is like the merchant ships from afar. She brings in her food. She also rises while it is still night, and gives gain to her household and a decree to her maidens. She has examined a field and takes it. From the fruit of her palms she plants a vineyard. She has girded with strength her loins and has strengthened her arms. She tastes whether it is good her gain. Not does go out by night her lamp. Her hands she has sent forth on the distaff and her palms have held the spindle. Her palms she spreads to the poor and her hands she reaches to the needy. Not she is afraid for her household of the snow, for all her household are clothed with scarlet. She makes, she makes coverings for herself. Fine linen and purple, her clothing is known in the gates. Her husband, when he sits with the elders of the land, linen garments she makes and sells, and belts she gives to the merchant. Strength and dignity are her clothing, and she laughs at the day to come. Her mouth she opens in wisdom, and the law of kindness is on her tongue. She watches the ways of her household, and the bread of idleness not she does eat. Rise up, her children, and call her blessed, her husband, for he praises her. Many are the daughters who work ably, but you rise over all of them. Deceitful is charm, and vain is beauty. A woman who fears Jehovah, she shall be praised. Give to her from the fruit of her hands, and let praise her in the gates her works.
John chapter 16. These things I have spoken to you, that's not you may be offended. Out of the synagogue they will make you, but comes an hour that everyone killing you will think a service to bear before God. <coughs> <clears throat> and these things they will do to you because not they knew the Father nor me, but these things I have spoken to you that when comes the hour you may recall them, that I told you these things. And to you from the first things not I said, because with you I was, but now I am going to the one sending me, and not one of you asks me, where are you going? But because these things I have said to you, grief has filled of you the heart. But I, the truth, tell you, it is profitable for you that I should go. For if not I go away, the paraclete not will come to you. But if I go, I will send him to you. And coming, that one will convict the world concerning sin, and concerning righteousness, and concerning judgment, concerning sin, because not they believe in me. Concerning the righteousness, and because to the Father of me I am going, and no longer you see me. Concerning the judgment, concerning and judgment, because the ruler of the world, the, because the ruler of this world has been judged, yet many things I have to tell you, but not you are able to bear now. But when comes that one, the spirit of truth, he will guide you into all the truth. For not he will speak from himself, but whatever he, ha but whatever he hears, he will speak. And concerning these things, he will announce to you, that's one me will glorify because from mine he will receive and will announce to you all things which has the Father mine are. For this reason I said that from mine he receives and will announce to you a little and not you behold me. And again, a little, and you will see me, because I go to the Father, said therefore the one disciple of him to one another, what is this which he tells us, a little, and not you behold me, and again a little, and you will see me, also because I go to the Father, also because I go to the Father, they said therefore this, what is that he says the little do not we know what he says then knew yeshua that they desired him to question and said to him, to them concerning this do you seek with one another because i said a little and not you behold me and uh, again a little and you will see me truly truly i say to you that will weep and will lament you and the world will rejoice, and you will be grieved. But the grief of you into joy will become. The woman, when she bears grief, has. Because came the hour of her, but when but when she brings forth her child brings forth the child, no longer she remembers the distress because of the joy that was born a man into the world, and you.
and you therefore grief indeed now have. But again I will see you, and will rejoice of you the heart, and the joy of you no one takes from you. And in that day, me not you will question nothing. Truly, truly, I say to you that whatever you may ask the Father in the name of me, he will give you. Until now, not you have asked nothing in the name of me. Ask and you will receive that the joy of you may be fulfilled. These things in allegories I have spoken to you come an hour when no longer in allegories I will speak to you but plainly concerning the Father. I will declare to you in that day in the name of me you will ask and not I tell you that I will petition the Father concerning you himself for the father loves you because you me have loved and have believed that i from god came forth i came forth from the father and have come into the world again i leave the world and go to the father say to him the disciples of him behold now plainly you speak an allegory not one you say now we know that you know all things and no need have thus anyone you query by this we believe that from god you came answered answered then answered them yeshua now do you believe behold comes an hour and not and now has come that you are scattered each one to the own things and me alone you leave and not i am alone because the father with me is these things i have spoken to you that me peace you may have in the world distress you have but be encouraged i have overcome the world <laughs> Chapter 17, John. These things spoke Yeshua, and lifting up the eyes of him to heaven, and said, Father, has come the hour. Glorify you, the Son, that also the Son of you may glorify you, as you gave him authority of all flesh, that all which you gave to him he may ha he may give to them everlasting life and this is everlasting life that they may know you the only true god and whom you sent yeshua christ i you glorified on the earth the work finishing which you give to me that i should do and now glorify me you father with yourself, with the glory that I had before the of the world being with you. I revealed of you the name to the men whom you gave m to me out of the world. To you they were, and to me them you gave. And the word of you they have kept. Now they have known that all whatever you gave to me from you is because the words which you gave to me i have given to them and they received and knew truly that from beside you i came forth and they believed that you sent me i concerning them petition not about the world i petition but concerning whom you gave me for to you they are and things my all yours are and your things mine and i have been glorified in them and no longer am i in the world and these in the world are and i to you come father holy keep them in the name of you 
whom you gave to me, that may be one as we. When I was with them in the world, I was keeping them in the name of you, whom you gave to me, I guarded, and not one of them perished except the son of perdition, that the scripture might be fulfilled, and now to you I come. And these things I speak in the world, that they have joy, may having been fulfilled in them. I have given them the word of you, and the world hated them, because not they are of the world, even as I not am of the world. Now I petition that you take them out of the world but that you keep them from evil of the world not they are even as i of the world not am sanctify them in the truth of you your word truth is even as me you sent into the world i also sent them into the world And for them I sanctify myself, that also they may be sanctified in truth concerning these. And I petition only, but also concerning those who shall believe through the word of them into me, that all one may be as you, Father, in me. And I in you, that also they in us one may be, that the world may believe that you sent me. And I, the glory which you have given me, have given to them, that they may be as one, one as we are one, I in them and you in me, that they may be perfected into one, and that may know the world that you me sent and loved them even as me you loved father whom you have given to me i desire that where i am those also may be with me that they may behold my glory which you gave me because you loved me before foundation of the world father righteous indeed the world you not knew i but you knew and these knew that you me sent and i made known to them the name of you and will make known that the love with which you loved me in them may be and i in them thank you Jehovah and my father for everything you do for me and for yeshua and uh for all your loving kindness to the sons of man forgive me where i fall short lord and uh forgive us where we fall short lord and guide and direct us in the way we should go and I thank you for your loving kindness each and every day and for everything that you do for me, Lord. I just can't thank you enough. Forgive me where I say that say horrible things, Lord. I, I know I do sometimes, so I ask that you consider my humanity in this situation and forgive me. And Yeshua's precious name, I pray all these things. And be with the one that I love. <sighs> and forgive me for giving him a hard time. In Yeshua's precious name, I pray. Amen.